Hi, I'm Micah, and this is Literally Micah. Today I'm going to read Mary McLeod Bethune by Susan and Evento. Do you have a dream? Mary McLeod Bethune did. She dreamed of helping all African American children go to school. She believed school could help make people live better. The soon was born on July 10th, 1875, in Maysville, South Carolina. The soon parents were slaves. They worked hard to buy a farm after slavery ended. A church school for African American children opened when Bethune was 11. The school was a long way from the farm. Bethune and her 16 sister and brother walked to school. Aqua Bethune studied reading, writing, and the Bible. When she was ready to go to a new school, there was nowhere to go. African American students could not go to school with white students. The soon had a chance to go to a college away from home after seven years. She trained to be a church teacher. The soon first teaching job was at her old church school. Then she taught in George and South Carolina in eighteen ninety eight Bassoon married Albertus Bassoon. They had a son and moved to Florida. Bassoon dreamed of having her own goal. She wanted a goal for African American girls. But soon moved to Daytona, Florida, to make her dream come true. She opened a school in 1904. At first, there were only five students. The students paid 50 cents each week. But soon also took students who did not have enough money to play. pay. She worked hard to keep the school going. The school grew into a college and became the Bassoon Cookman College Bassoon, was the first president. Bassoon kept working to help make life better for all African Americans. She became famous for her work as a leader. For President of the United States, I presume to work with them. President Roosevelt made her the leader of a special group. This group helped African American people go to gold and get jobs. I soon was the first African American woman to have a job like this. Bassoon was a leader of many other groups, too. She also traveled around the United States. He spoke to people about equal rights for African Americans. Bassoon was to be 79 years old. She worked to help people live better life. She also worked to help all people get along. Today, a statue of Bassoon stand in Washington, D.C. It helps us remember what can happen when 
someone works hard to help others. Thanks for joining Little E. Micah.